Hey folks, this is Mark with OrionWatchUSA.com and this is CER00008D, part of Orion's diving collection as you can uh, clearly see from the design of this watch. Now this watch is very, very, very similar, uh, if not identical to 2ER00002D. Now what makes this different is that it uses sapphire crystal. A sapphire crystal is probably the most scratch resistant crystal that we can use in watches. And so in terms of um, in terms of visibility and as well as the superior crystal, this is the right watch. Okay? Let me go ahead and show you some more angles close up on the wrist, because it I know a watch looks completely different on the wrist as opposed to off it. So I want to show you that before I take it off. Alright, so what I want to do is take off the watch so I can show you some of the other, um, the other angles of the watch as well as showing you how to use the crown uh, during operation. So simply, I'll just, I will just get this off over here. Alright, here we are. So, here's the watch. How do you set the time? Very, very simple. You see the crown over here? All you want to do is unscrew it like this. And then it, it, you'll feel that the uh, the tension loosens up quite a bit. That means you've unscrewed the crown. Go ahead and pull it out to its first position. And at this position, you are able to adjust the date. Let me see if you can see that. So 16, 17, 18, 19. You pull it out to its final step, and then you can adjust time. Now, typically for mechanical watches, you just keep you just want to keep on going forward. Although I just didn't do that right then, but. Uh, once you're done, always push it in and then rotate. Now, these these watches, the reason why you have a screw down crown is one of the best designs to keep water outside the case. But if you keep it unlocked like this and you go have a dip in the water, the gasket is not engaged, which means that the water, it has a very good chance of entering the case, if you submer especially if you submerged it. Okay, some of the other things that you can see, it's got a unidirectional bezel, which means it only turns one way. You can see how easy it is to turn right over here. It all, all this point right here, as well as all the indexes, the second hand, as well as the minute and hour hand are all luminous. So if you're in a dark area, everything is lit up so that you can tell you can tell what time it is. So let's take a look at the band. It's a very, very simple band, but I think it works with the design of the watch. It uses solid links, as you can see from the profile of the band. Clasp is a fold over. It's, a, it's just a fold over and a safety on this side, which means you've got to close like this to lock the watch. The class does has the Orient logo on it. Let me see what other dressings they have on this. I know the case back also has some of the model information inscribed, as you can see over here. That's just a hologram, folks. That comes right off the uh, when you get your watch. Alright, so this is CER 0008.